What's going on YouTube? It's Rico with No Boring Concrete. We are back in uh, South Lakeland. Technically, I think it's uh, Mulberry is what they're considering this area. But uh, this is the same house, the same project that we did, the random multicolored wood plank uh, concrete overlay in the living room that went through the kitchen. They have their cabinets in, they have their furniture in. Um, I do have permission to come back uh, sometime later to do some uh, video footage of it all completed and lived in and decorated, which it looks pretty neat. Uh, the new cabinets look awesome too. Um, but we've been called back to do the outdoor uh, front porch and the back patio. And um, they had a knockdown texture, and I'll show you that in a second. And um, it's just, you know, it just looks a little dated, and it's just holding a lot of. Uh, um, like dirt and scum um, build up <clears throat> when it rains and puddles and that kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and put a texture on there, but we're gonna, we got to remove the existing texture. We're going to remove, grind that off, put a base coat down, and then uh, spray down a, a textured uh, material and then color it in a solid color. A lighter color, just give it a little bit more vibrant, uh, brighter feel to it all. So here you go, and I'll show you a couple areas of uh, that problematic issues that some people will see, especially with standing water and moisture. So here we go. So this is the uh, the space that we're going to be doing. Um, you can see it's 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 not that bad a condition at all, really. Um, but we're just looking for an updated look. We have uh, you know kids coloring on there. It's not a problem. That'll actually just rinse off. But areas like this, this is the areas that are actually chipping up, and that cannot just be patched in and then called good. That has to be ground down. You can see how smooth. Let's focus in how smooth these areas are and and that will be the number one reason for delamination uh, or the the popping off and cracking and peeling of this texture on here um, so you like I said you can all you guys will do a great job putting it down walk away drive off but then you know sometime down the road it starts popping off and doesn't look good this area here <clears throat> Is a, is a trench that they had to cut out for a, a gas line, but we're gonna go ahead and patch that in and seam these two pieces together, uh, cleaning that off. And this is the texture we're gonna be taking off. And uh, just to go back, this is the kind of stuff that I was saying that tends to build up with the mold and the scum, mildew, and stuff like that. Um, so good pressure washer could take care of that, but if you have pieces that have already flaked off, it's still not gonna look that great. So we're gonna get down to the bare concrete um, even though this is clean concrete, we're still going to grind that so we can get a good uh, mechanical bite and good profile so our material will bond to it. be doing that step and then doing the rest of this area here. And we've already ground the front area, um, so that's already done. And um, just stay tuned. NoBoringConcrete.com. Subscribe, like, thumbs up, feedback, comment, questions, any of that. See you.